Hey guys, it's Triggy here and today I'm giving you a quick rundown of my new Skylake gaming PC and uh, demonstrating the boot times. Um, and if I have time, I might open up my 3D Mark results to show you what kind of performance I'm getting from it. But uh, first of all, uh, we'll have a rundown of the components in this particular build. The case itself is a Be Quiet Base 800. Uh, pretty well priced case for what it is. It's German made, well German designed, made in China or Taiwan or wherever they make everything these days. Um, it has two fans that come shipped with it at the front and a fan at the back, three fans in total. Um, the motherboard is a Gigabyte G1 Gaming 7 motherboard. Uh, I'm running the latest beta drivers which are F8i. The processor is an Intel unlocked i7 at 6700K. Uh, the RAM is G-Skill Trident 3200 RAM. Um, that is running on XMP Profile 1, so the full 3200 MHz there. Um, the graphics card is a Gigabyte G1 GTX 970. Uh, I have got that slightly overclocked, but nothing too massive. My primary hard drive, you can see down there, which is an M2 NVMe drive, Samsung 950 Pro. Uh, it is only the 256 gigabyte version, um, so it's not quite as fast as the 512 gigabyte. Actually, the 512 is quite a lot faster. In the back. I've also got a Samsung 850 Pro 500GB drive. Uh, the power is Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 1000 Watt. This is an awesome power supply, albeit very, very heavy for what it is. Um, it's um, overclockable, it doesn't have the nicest cables, but, um, but yeah, it's really durable, um, gets great reviews. Um, what else to tell you about this system? Um, I know I've probably left something out, but anyway. Um, Windows 10, I'm on the fast ring at the moment of uh, rollouts, update rollouts. Um, and it's installed as GPT Petition Table instead of MBR, and that's something people need to be wary of when installing via the... Windows 10 USB key, it's um, not formatted correctly to install your your operating system as GPT instead it'll install it in MBR and when you configure your BIOS uh, for ultra fast boot it isn't exactly ultra fast unless you have your Windows 10 installed as GPT um, you can google all about that, you can find out if your system is installed as GPT or MBR, um, just yeah, Google for that. Um, all right, yeah, there's another video on my channel showing um, a time lapse or a hyperlapse for those that like to call them that of my entire build. But we'll shut this down now and we'll hit the power button and see how long it takes to boot up. Just give it a second to sell itself down. Okay. So, power button now. At the boot screen, I do have a pin for my login. It'll slow us down a bit, but you get the gist. I don't have too much starting on startup. Uh, you'll see here. So Corsair Link. I'm actually running that on balance. So everything's loaded now. Um, I'll just quickly show you the overclock of my graphics card. So I'm running plus 170 uh, on the on the GPU clock and plus 500 on the memory. Um, plus 10 on the target power. Um, that's pretty much it for now, so nothing too heavy there. The processor is overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. Um, 
So not a heavy overclock, and like I mentioned before, the RAM is running its default XMP Profile 1. Um, uh, the F clock, FCLK, um, is at 1000 MHz instead of the auto default of 800, um, and that did help me get a little bit of a performance boost. Um, and everyone should have that set on 1000 if, if you're building a new machine. Um, uh, you don't want to see my email. Uh, what do you want to see? 3D mark results. Fire them up. Okay, so this is my latest result. So Fire Strike, of course, is the go-to test. This is off the the free a 3D Mark, downloadable through Steam. Or I think you can get it standalone. Uh, better than 85%. Now, three weeks ago, before the 1080s were available, I was up in the 93 percentile. Um, and that was only with a 970. So, you can see my, all my details there. This score here, originally without the overclocks or, and little tweaks, was below 10,000 or around the 10,000 mark. Um, I haven't changed much Windows 10 wise, like tweaking Windows 10 for faster boot and all that, disabling services, this, that, and the other. Um, but yeah, I have somewhat limited things on startup. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, any questions, chuck them in the comments below. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.